All right, guys, so in order to cool our beer down as quickly as possible, we are going to use today what's called an immersion style war chiller. It's definitely not something you need to have, but something I highly recommend picking up. You can get them in most homebrew shops, order them online. Uh, something like this, it's made out of copper and some uh, plastic hosing, uh, excuse me, tubing and uh, standard clamps here. These will run you 50, 70 bucks. They're well worth it. They cool the work down real quickly before we get the yeast in there. You don't need it. You can work around by, uh, you can stir the, the, the kettle in an ice bath in the sink or the bathtub or just cold water. And I do show the, how to do that in some other videos. But, you know, we're going to keep this simple today and we're going to go ahead and use this. So first step is to go ahead and rinse it off in the sink just to get anything loose off of it. Okay. And now, since we've got just a few minutes left in our boil, we're going to drop this whole thing, careful not to burn the hoses, drop the whole coil part of this uh, cooler, chiller, into our boil that's going to go ahead and sanitize it for us, and then we can uh, go ahead and add our last top addition, let that go for two minutes, and then we're going to go and plug this into a sink and start cooling the wort down so we can get ready for the yeast. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and drop our wort chiller in. So again, careful to keep the hoses away from the edges of the pot. Move that over there. Still kind of stir around a little bit. Give you a better look at what this looks like. All right, now it's time for our final hop addition. These are the Cascade hops. Let these guys go for about two minutes. Then we're going to pull it off of the heat. And then it's time to start cooling the work down. So we haven't had our thermometer in here for a while. And that's because we basically have been, uh, you know, we've been boiling, we know what the temperature is. But now we're going to need our thermometer again. So what we want to do is drop it back in here to go ahead and make sure it's still sanitized and sterilized and all that good stuff. So, got our wort chiller sanitizing slash sterilizing right now. And we will now take this, we're gonna actually go to, uh, I don't have the proper hookup here at the sink in the kitchen, so we're gonna go to a bathroom and plug in to the faucet there and run the wort chiller. So we'll come back when it's time to do that.